Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Before we start, let me say as a collector to a collector and as a friend, if you're looking at something that is high horology, deep into five figures, made by a company out of Le Brasseau or perhaps Central Geneva, reconsider, because you're going to have just as much fun and build the same kind of great memories of good times with this Omega Diver 300 meter coaxial chronograph on your wrist. I do not jest. You will have more fun with this than a Roy Loke Offshore, than an Hublot Big Bang, a Patek Nautilus, or a Vacheron Overseas. You get the substance and you get the style with the no concern reliability of a major brand backed by unrivaled industrial might. This is what fun with a watch is all about. And on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, this 41.5 millimeter chrono is surprisingly easy to wear. It is thick, make no mistake. 16.8 millimeters thick when you combine a dive watch with a Valjoux 7750 and a tri-level coaxial escapement, you wind up with a bit of a hamburger on your wrist, but, make, but it is a gourmet burger, that's the thing. Make no mistake, it is a delectable dish all the same. And 49 millimeters lug to lug, 53.7 if you include the solid end links. The watch has a broad stance, but I'd still recommend it because of the curvature of the lugs for wrists as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. Trust me, you can pull it off. The spacing between the lugs is 20 millimeters, and this watch would work well on a strap. Unlike contemporary Rolex divers, it's not necessarily a heresy to put a modern Omega Seamaster on a strap, especially if it's a well-integrated factory strap. The bracelet has come a long way since the 90s. This style used to be a little bit more rounded off on its shoulders, perhaps more of a dress bracelet when it debuted. Now with a squared off sheer side, it's a bit more of a sports watch style bracelet. Big gaps on the underside to vent the wrist, and you can see no longer pin sleeves. These modern Diver 300 bracelets are held in place by screws. You have half links, for precise sizing, and then you have a milled out clasp, all of a piece, very solid, deeply engraved with a handsome polished bevel on the flank, trigger release, milled out swing arms, again, very solid, inspiring confidence, and you've got that all or nothing fold out dive extension made famous by the Bond Seamasters in the 90s. It's still one of the best in the business. Jumping back to the case, you can see that there are no surprises here. If you're familiar with your Omega Sports watches, you've seen this before. A polished flaring bevel at the end of the lugs, a sheer longitudinally satin finished side, and a combination of integrated end links about the bracelet, and because this is an Omega diver, simulated screw down pushers. That's right, 300 meters, and you don't have to screw out these shoulders. They're simulated screw downs. So you have the body and volume and bracing of a screw down, but you have the ease and instant availability of a push down. So water resistance and a handsome appearance without any compromise, and one of the most nestled and shielded crowns you will ever find on a diver. That ain't getting sheared off, that's for sure. Take a quick look at the dial because the highlight of this watch is actually the bezel. <laughs> Outboard is where all the action happens, and it's a lovely one. These Diver 300s don't always have the best bezel action, but this particular model has a wonderfully sharp bezel detent. And I mean, it is sharp, it is distinct, it offers just enough resistance that you know it won't budge accidentally, and not so much that you feel like you're going to slip if you try to turn it with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands. Ceramic insert with liquid metal, so all of the calibrations, the numbers, the hash marks are permanently bonded to the ceramic insert. So that ceramic insert effectively is scratch resistant to sapphire, it's not going to mark. The dial has depth and richness, a gloss black lacquered base, and then polished chapterings, metallic chapterings for each of the matte black sub-registers, red accents, and appreciate the fact that this dial is fully loomed, and I do mean fully loomed, everything is loomed. There is a chaptering outboard featuring chronograph seconds hash marks, and as you can see, every five minutes you have a numeral for reading minutes and seconds. It adds depth to the dial, as does the series of applique. We've come a long way since Pierce Brosnan. These are no longer printed dial features, they are applique metal. Skeleton hands at center are a signature of the so-called Bond Seamaster family, and that's exactly what you get here. The timepiece featuring a chronograph and an unconventional adjustment system for the date. The helium escape valve, long 
the subject of jokes and speculation regarding how many customers actually use this saturation diving helium escape relief feature, well here you're guaranteed to use it because coaxial with the valve itself is a pusher adjuster at its center that is used for adjusting the date at 6 o'clock. That's a consequence of a Valju 7753, that is the conventional balanced register version of the 7750 being used. You lose the quick set, but you get that pleasing traditional tri-register arrangement, but you have to use the pusher adjuster to adjust the date. Now the watch does have conventional stop seconds or hacking seconds, and this is a highly modded 7753. It does business as Omega Caliber 3330, automatic winding, 52 hour power reserve, coaxial escapement, so you get that exotic escapement system, and the attendant precision and long-term timing stability that comes with it, plus the cool tie to George Daniels and his watch making. COSC certified Swiss chronometer, free spring balance to take precise adjustment and hold it in the face of bumps, vibrations, and disruptions on the wrist. And finally, SI14 silicon hairspring for anti-magnetism, all of it water resistant down to 300 meters, and once again, that without screw down pushers. This is a timepiece that offers the full suite of luxury features, a number of upscale chronometric refinements, exclusive technology pioneered and perfected by Omega, and a style in the Diver 300 meter, now 25 years young and the longest continuously serving style of Omega Seamaster since the very first model in 1948. In other words, this watch is a combination of the best of all possible worlds. Trust me, you don't need to go high horology to have fun with the sports watch, and this Diver 300 meter coaxial chronograph is proof. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Seamaster Diver 300 meter coaxial chronograph by night. Note the differential loom so you can easily distinguish the minute hand and the bezel pearl. It's a great way to time two events concurrently. As you can see, all of the chronograph registers are visible at night. And I should mention that this movement has converted the original Valju 7753 from a cam system to column wheel operation for crisp engagement. See it by day on the watch box.